Hi, this is Michael Keyes, and today I want to share with you your purpose and why it's so important in this wonderful world of real estate. A person called me recently and told me they were frozen with inaction. Worst of all, they'd only listed two properties in the last four months, and of course, they were doing it tough. I went and saw this person and was able to get them unfrozen, and now because of what I showed them, they've gone from no prospecting for four months to a prospecting machine overnight. It's absolutely fantastic. And he's now on his way again. He's done what many people in real estate don't do, and that's reach out and ask for help when they need it. So here are three easy to implement steps to get out of a rut. And the first thing is purpose. And this is the big question. What's your purpose for being in this wonderful world of real estate? And if it's just to make a living and pay the bills and just get by, this is not good enough. You've got to have a great purpose that drives you. Like the guy I spoke about, he said he was frozen. His purpose in life is to be successful in real estate so that they can start a family. Now, what a great purpose that is. People have asked me, what, what has been your purpose that's driven you in real estate? And I can tell you it's debt. I had so many lessons when I was younger. Me and my father were in a business and it went bad. And, and when I was about 23, 24 years old, I was in the bank's boardroom and they were threatening to foreclose on a property that we had in the same family for five. I was the fifth generation on it. And I remember walking out of there feeling so helpless. And I thought, the day is going to come when I go to the bank and say, I want this interest rate, meaning that I have money to invest in the bank. And it took me a couple of years, but I found real estate and real estate has been the most wonderful career ever to make money, become prosperous and to get yourself so far away from debt that you never have to worry about debt ever again. So make a decision now. What is your purpose? And then be relentless in pursuing that purpose. Number two, plan. What we did last week was to plan each day. And this is the same plan that I cover in Success in Real Estate. And everybody who follows this plan is doing fantastically well. The plan is to make every moment of your days that you work productive. And I learned this a long time ago. Be where you're at. So when you're at work, be at work and make it productive on results producing activities. And if you're working long and hard and not getting the results you would like, then it's either you're doing the wrong actions or your skills are not up to scratch. Now, this you can change easily by investing your time in attending success in real estate. Number three, ask. Become a master asker. Always be on the lookout for opportunities to ask for business. Everybody you meet and everybody you come across is a potential seller. Always ask and then make sure in a tough listing situation, you ask for the listing at least five times. You make the decision that you're going to get the listing. When you have to reduce a tough vendor, ask for the price reduction at least five times. Be relentless because that is the key to the sale a lot of the time. On my driveway, there are two 10-acre blocks for sale. They've been for sale for five years. And I saw the agent just the other day and he was putting up sold signs. And I said to him, how'd you go? He said, once we got them under a certain price and it took him five years to get them there. But he said, once we got them under that price, they sold within a week. And so if you've got properties that are not selling right now, it is the price that's stopping them. So make the commitment to reduce and be relentless at the reduction. Be the master asker in your area. See, the problem is most salespeople think they offend by asking. And some do so because they do it the wrong way. They become pushy. But when you get this right, you need a professional at leading people to make the decision that's right for them. So if you're like the client of mine, and you're frozen in procrastination and inaction and knowing what you should be doing and just not doing it, then do these three things. Decide exactly what your main driving purpose is. Then follow a results-driven plan of action and, and then become a master of selling in mindset, listing, reducing and selling, which is what I teach at Success in Real Estate. It's like the farmer who doesn't sow in spring. He's not going to get a crop. But the farmer who does everything that's necessary in the right seasons will get a crop if Mother Nature is kind. If you want to know more about using the right seasons in your career in real estate, I've recorded a one-hour training session designed to help people add an extra $100,000 in personal income in the next 12 months. Just visit michaelkeys.com.au to view the session. It's free. Until next time, I wish you every success in real estate. This is Michael Keyes.